Jake Sabalski, welcome back to EA Sports. Game one of this playoff showdown. Let's see who's left standing. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. This is what you're playing for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. From one head man to another. Oh, he brings it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. So frustrating when you don't get the bounces, you just miss as that one goes off the pipe. You gotta wonder, if you get the opening goal, the momentum's all in your favor. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Penalty coming up here. The Tornadoes are off to the box. Interferes the call. <laughs> Moscow's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you, when you score first, chances are you win the game. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Great pressure to force the turnover by Lee. Puck leaves the zone on the bad pass, and they'll be forced to regroup. He's got a step. Makes the save. Oh, and this is a great save, James. The goaltender gets to the top of his crease, makes himself look huge, and is extremely aggressive to be able to make that stop. Hunks the boards through the neutral zone. see what he means to this group, James. He is a leader. When he's on the ice, everyone is looking for him to lead the charge, and he has a beauty goal, and everyone knows it. There it is, James, the first goal of this playoff series, and everyone wanted that one. You want to play with the lead, and you certainly want to dictate it. Moscow's hard work pays off as they get on the board first here tonight. Yeah, getting on the board first over halfway through the first period. And, you know, there hasn't been much going on here in this game. It's been back and forth, but it's starting to open up with this first goal. Gotta hope that there's some more offense in this one. Big time stop! Moscow's got it along the wall. Let's it fly! Huge stop by Huska! Oh, he's such an offensive producer, and he just doesn't get it this time. And typically when he does, the whole team gets on his back and rides along with him. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Well, that's certainly not going to help the team. I mean, they're losing by one. They've got to find a way to get some momentum to get on the board. Now they find themselves killing the penalty. Moscow's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. The trickers will play it against the wall. Here's a shot. And he comes up with the glove save. Nesterov's been feeling it, James. You know who else is feeling it? His teammates. They have been the beneficiaries of a great leader on the ice who's just been distributing the puck and generating a ton of offense. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Shuts him down. Oh, and he whips on it. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Bell Reeve. Nizhny Novgorod. Oh, hold on, James. Looks like there's going to be a call right there. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. A tough penalty to take as you're looking for the equalizer. You're in a one-goal deficit, and you've got to find a way to generate offense, James. Real tough one to take. Time is of the essence for this five-on-three power play. A short five-on-three here on the stick, off the stick. You're not going to have a lot of time to move the coverage, so driving it towards the net and crashing it is key. The checkers take possession here inside the offensive zone. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. Lee's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out in the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping call.
Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. Four-on-four -four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Across the line, down the left wall. Fires it! Scores! And they strike Hayden once again. Yeah, they do. And their opponents down on their heels are deflated. They've got to find a way to continue with the pressure. Be relentless and try and get another one. I absolutely love this goal, James, because it's the attention to detail, eyes on the prize, just showing how dialed in you are to be able to have that hand-eye coordination and put that puck in the net. Moscow's clearly had a few energy drinks prior to puck drop because they're already up by a pair here in the first. It's always great to see a team come out and play with desperation, not just at the end of the game. There's been urgency to their step and a lot of pace to their play. Moves it quickly over to Abramov. Here's a shot. Brings it up the pipe. Moscow's lead will not change. Sometimes you do all the hard work to get to the right spots on the ice, but you don't have any puck luck, and that was Evan there as it hit the post and out. to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Huska has been the only reason that this game is close, James. I mean, they have been under siege. There's been shots coming from everywhere, and the defense in front of him aren't doing anything to clear rebounds. They need to shore this up if they want to get back in this game. He's the reason it's so close. And he takes the pass. Great defensive effort with the stick. Oh, and he makes another save. I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Slides the puck over. He got all of that one. Feeds the puck over. They've got an on-man rush. Takes a shot. Denied on the play. Oh, wow. The tornado's played along the boards. Way off target there. Well, you knew that he wanted the one-timer, so he takes it, James. I think he would have been better off setting it up and teeing it up himself. As a result, that puck's wide. And there's the horn. Two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. in the books now played. How do you view this one? Excuse me, Novgorod generating a lot of offensive scoring chances here, James, but they can't seem to solve the goaltender. Listen, this is when you can't get frustrated. You have to stick with the game plan, continue to move the puck with motion, and drive the paint. Scoops up the puck here. Quick shot! Oh, a clutch save! Huska's dialed in and anticipating the play so effectively, making a huge save from a dangerous spot on the ice. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Picked off by Athanasiu. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Quick shot! Scores! The defender put it into his own net! James, how surprised do you think the goaltender is? He just spins around and tries to clear the puck, and he fires it past the tender.
Nizhny Novgorod's got to be feeling confident now getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming and they got to win this face-off and dictate the pace. And that's off the club and will play on! Another stop by the goaltender. Now a quick pass to Boca. And that carries off a body in traffic. How'd you like to play with him? Hey, James, I know that my stats certainly would have elevated. I mean, it's his crisp tape-to-tape -tape passing. When it lands on your stick, you can almost feather it in. He's unbelievable. Nizhny Novgorod's playing to win here now. They have tied it up here in the third. You said it, James. They're not sitting back. They're attacking. And this is urgency that often presents itself late in the game. You wonder why you didn't start that way. But you can certainly finish it. Larionov's won the draw center. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Stop! Scores! There it is! The go-ahead goal! And how good does that feel? You can see the celly. The energy is certainly there. And now it's about dictating the pace going forward. Next shift, critically important. Well, you gotta love the resilience on this goal. He gets the first shot off, but he continues to track the puck. Good hand-eye coordination to collect it and rip it home. Second shot opportunity goes in. The Tornadoes needed that in a big way. They now have the lead here in this third period. Well, it's been a back and forth game. It's really been neck and neck. And although I felt like they've dictated the pace in this third period, it's about continuing to press and really try to smother their opponent. Nearing the final minute of regulation. Moscow's got the puck against the boards. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Well, all those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. Scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever, and he'll take it. It's much needed, too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Nizhny Novgorod's won the draw. Quick feed to Larionov. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Up along the wing. Shot, and that's broken up. And there's the final horn, putting a bow on this one here this evening. Well, that's how you want to kick off a playoff series, by taking that opening win and get that momentum on your side. Well, you know, heading into the series, this is the exact game that they've been talking about that they wanted to come out on top on. It's really important to dictate play right from the onset of a series. You really want to send the message that you're here, you're here to play, and you're here to stay. That'll do it from rinkside here this evening from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabalski.